Fiction Readers, I'm Christy Stratus, and today I'm talking about a low fantasy book in the Best Fantasy Books Subgenre Reading Challenge. I'm talking about Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence. That's the first book in a trilogy, and there are a couple of little stories in between also, but this book I chose for low fantasy. I really liked it. I finished it already. I thought it was a really good book in many, many ways, but today I wanted to talk to you about the main character, and he's the prince the Prince of Thorns. He's called that for a reason and I'm not gonna, I don't want to spoil anything for you, you're not gonna find out any spoilers, but I wanted to discuss in low fantasy we often have anti-heroes and so this is a prime example of an anti-hero and his name is, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pronounce it Yorg because it's J-O-R-G so it I see that as Yorg. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it in any way. Yorg is like the epitome of an anti-hero. He is, he starts out when the book starts out, he is brutal in every way. He is young, but he's the head of a band of brothers who just go around destroying like villages and killing people and literally raping and pillaging and all of that. So at first you really think he's horrible. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about him and if his anti-hero-ness would carry all the way through and maybe he would be developing but into a horrible person that would maybe try to take over more lands or what. So I wasn't sure how I would feel about him but the interesting part about him is that he's horrible in all these ways but Mark Lawrence, the writer, makes his character and the whole story is so readable and his narrative is so readable it's fast-paced, the whole story, and his thought process and everything. It, it uses modern language, there's modern cursing, so if you, if you don't like language, you don't want this book. Um, a lot of violence. Again, if you don't like violence, you don't want this book. And at the same time, like, you're reading on and on and you can't stop. It's that type of book where you just have to keep reading. And because of the likability in the way that it's written, I liked him, which was sort of strange because I didn't like him as a person and yet I liked him because of the way he spoke, because of the readability of the book, because of how much we could see of him. He was very open as a character, even though there are things, we don't know everything and it takes time to learn his whole backstory. We learn little bits of it at a time. And even so, like his clarity as a character and his openness towards us, but not really towards necessarily his brothers and other characters made me like him and like I said the the way that he speaks and his frankness and something about the way he's so like cavalier I just I ended up really liking him even though I thought he was horrible which was a very strange mix of things I haven't really felt that too much in a book and I haven't read a ton of anti-hero books so I couldn't say oh compare it to this character and you know here's the difference or anything so if I come across another I'll certainly do that comparison but I have never felt I hate this character but I really like him anyway. The only character I can think of like that is Malvolio from one of Shakespeare's plays and he's funny anyway so it's really not the same. I don't know, have you ever felt that way about a character? You hate him but like him? I think a lot of comic book villains are that way but I haven't really experienced that with a main character of a book yet. I'm sure there are tons of books out there where that happens but I just haven't experienced it and I think that it was really the writing that did it for him. That's the whole reason that I liked this character, the the cleverness and his whole writing style and I, I ended up liking a character that I hated and I couldn't wait to continue and I liked him more as it went along. So let me know in the comments if you've ever felt that way about a character, if you have experienced an anti-hero that's so horrible but you love him anyway because of the writing style or her. And if you've read Prince of Thorns, what you thought of it, I'm sure we all have different opinions. So like this video, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. If you're on Goodreads, go ahead and comment down below. I'd love to know what you thought of this book, especially as a low fantasy book. I don't have experience with any other low fantasy book, so I have nothing to compare it to. And I'll see you soon.